All right, starting a helicopter might seem complicated, but that's why we have checklists. Back in the day, these checklists used to be on paper, but thanks to modern technology, we've got an iPad. So let's just go through the process and get this thing started. Weight and balance, yes, I did do that. Passengers brief, no, I don't have any passengers, so I don't have to brief them. Seat belt secure, yes, because you don't want seat belts, you know, flapping, you know, if the door flies open or something like that. Yes, that's a thing that happens. Flight controls, free and correct. Forward with the cyclic all around. Checking the tail rotor, throttle up and down, along with the collective. Watching the blades as they move around. Yep, everything looks good. Collective full down, friction on. Fuel shutoff valve pushed in. Rotor clutch disengaged. That's this, that's this lever down here. Circuit breakers in. Mags to both. Master alternator on. Die collision. Check, check, check. All right. Ignition trim on. Radio master is on. Should be off, but it's on so you can hear me. Lamp test. Here's the clutch, dis clutch disengage and the overboost check light. Altimeter set to 60. That's where we are in Long Beach, 60 feet above sea level. Clock. Match the red hands, which is helpful for knowing how much fuel you used. You can use um, kind of an average consumption rate per hour. Uh, this Enstrom goes about 15 to 16 gallons an hour. So if I've flown an hour, I know I've used about 15 to 16 gallons. All right, collect it full down, throttle off, open, mixture in, boost pump, one, two, three. We're just looking for a little rise right here. There we go. Mixture out, throttle just barely cracked. Now we're gonna start it up, wait for it to turn over, and once it does, then we'll uh, go full rich in the mixture. Boost it. Out. There we go. Boost pump on. <laughs> Sounds like chitty chitty bang bang when she gets going. <laughs> there we go. So mixture is full in and then we're uh, looking to set this at about 1500 RPM on the engine. Engine tack is the one on the outside, rotor tack is the one on the inside. Get that rolling along at uh, 15, and then we're also looking for oil pressure and amps. Make sure that the, the uh, battery's charging and that we've got oil pressure. All right, yeah, make sure full rich. So moving on to the next one. Radio master on, headsets on, transponder to altitude for mode C. Radio on. Annoying static, active. That'll go away just a moment here once it uh, cycles up. Make right base for only two five right. There we go. That's uh, one one nine or four. It's frequency here in Long Beach. We're gonna pull up the ATIS to get some weather information. Once this goes through its uh, startup sequence. Waiting for weather information. Weather information, Juliet. Juliet. One five five three Zulu. Wind one nine zero three. Visibility one zero. Ceiling two thousand two hundred. Overcast. Yes, it is over to one nine two point one four. Altimeter. Altimeter three zero zero zero. Three zero zero zero. Left runway three zero. Approaching you. Runway three zero. Runway two five left. Runway two five right. And use tower frequency. 119.4. All right. 
All departing aircraft, contact clearance. Cool. So we're going to contact the tower on 1194 for our departure here. All right. Steady along at 1500. So now we're going to engage the clutch. Pedal centered. Slowly lift this handle right here. And we're going to watch this RPM gauge rise. And once it gets to 1000, then I can fully engage it. So you'll hear some like uh, unsettling squeaking noises, perhaps. Engine RPM will dip a little bit. Squeak, 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 squeak. Good morning, folks. Proceed direct. The numbers are only two five right. Put a land. There we go. Uh, fully engaged. Morning, gentle up. Um, and then if this lays flat, know, we know that the clutch is fully engaged. Or something, but it's very coming in very weak. Good. And now we'll uh, pull this up to 1800 and uh, let the cylinder head temp warm up to 200. Thank you. One fun thing about the Enstrom is that uh, I'll wave to this guy, let him know he can go by if he wants. All right. Guess he's just going to hang out there. Uh, the Enstrom, uh, because there's no center centering mechanism for the blades, because they have to advance and retreat as the helicopter's flying in forward flight. Uh, Tower flex at 401, ILS uh, 30. Sorry, I'm waving to this guy, letting him know it's okay if he wants to go. Anyways, uh, so it doesn't have a centering mechanism in the uh, blades for their advancing and retreating, so it does this rocking motion when you're on the ground. <laughs> so as I start to run it up, if the thing looks like it's rocking like an insane person, uh, that's uh, that's what that is. Totally normal. November 5, PZ10, I'm a hold chart, runway 255 left. Going to get the uh, next frequency pulled up. 123.02, that's the general basin frequency that uh, helicopters all communicate on just to make self reported uh, statements about where they're, they're located. All right, there's 200, so we uh, bring it up to 2300, looking for 80. Approved, 80 on the oil temp, and actually we're already there, so that's looking good. Good morning, Jeff, we'll tell seven, Long Beach Tower, runway three zero. All right, so now we'll do the mag test. And basically, we're going to bring it up to 2900, which is flight RPM, and uh, go to one mag, the left, right, and then the right mag, and see within five seconds if it drops below 125 RPM, and if there's more than a 100 degree rise in the turbo inlet temperature, which is right here. All right, let's see what happens. Bounce, 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 bounce. So right about 1350. We're also looking for a uh, 50 RPM difference between the uh, right and left mag. Liberty Niner X-ray, two, one, two, zero, zero. Clock one, two, zero, zero, Liberty. All right, looking good. And then we roll off the throttle. And we're looking for a split there, so if the engine were to stop, we'd know that the rotor would keep spinning. That's how you glide a helicopter safely to a landing instead of uh, falling from the sky like people think helicopters often do. They don't. I mean, unless you fail to put down collective when the engine stops. All right, boost pump is on. Anti-collision. I'm going to put on landing light because it's a little bit hazy out. It's just for a little extra visibility. Gauges are green. Friction off. The friction, by the way, only works on the ground, or you only need it on the ground. It holds the collective in the uh, down position. So it doesn't accidentally come up, and then, you know, the thing tops over and bad things happen. Area clear. All right. Pulling up the four flight app, which is much better than the paper charts I started with when I started flying helicopters. All right. And I have <laughs> forgotten the ATIS code. Wave Juliet and Golf, non movement area. Advise on initial contact. You have Juliet. Juliet. <laughs> okay. So when I call up, I'll say that I have information Juliet, which lets the tower know I have the current weather information. All right. Let's pick her up and do a hover. And let's get my iPhone charging. Okay. Liberty 9 or X-ray Lima, you staying in the counter, sir? Yeah, affirmative, Liberty 519 or X-ray Lima. 
75 and 9 9 Roger. In the future, just keep your downwind closer to the field, probably over or north of the field. Downwind 25 left, so to the option. Yes, sir, Liberty 519 are actually in There we go. Clear to the left. Good, stable and nice hover. Turbo inlet temp is under uh, 1550, which is good. Alright. Good part, Sierra. Just the 1207, right on Kilo contact ground, see you. Right on Kilo contact ground, it's a blue 1207. Zero one cell number two following the Liberty ahead on downwind runway two five left. Clear for the option. Uh, number two follow Liberty two five left. Clear for option zero one cell. Long Beach Tower helicopter nine or two eight five uh, air flight request north downy departure with Juliet. Zero nine or two eight five Long Beach Tower north downy approved departure from air flight will be at your risk. Departure at my risk north downy approved nine two eight five. All right, let's get rolling. So gentle forward. Gain a little speed, pull a little collective, a little bit of power. There's effective translational lift, which is a concept you can look up. I'm not going to explain it now, but it makes the helicopter fly more efficiently, and here we go. Bobby Star, helicopter 346 Victor Hotel at Aeroplex. Request pad assignment information, Juliet. Helicopter 346 Victor Hotel, Long Beach Tower, departure from Aeroplex, pad 1, 2, 3, or 4, clear to land. Pad 2, clear to land, helicopter 6 Victor Hotel. There we go. Beautiful day. A little hazy, but in a good way. And that is how you get a helicopter up and running, or at least the extra 280C I fly up and running and uh, depart the airport. Justice 6111, come back to Long Beach Tower. Right, right traffic approved, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. 25 right, clear for takeoff, runway 25 right.